A SAM police continues to probe the big methamphetamine seizure in Karbianglong. Sensational details about a well-organized Myanmar-based drug cartel using a time-tested route to reach global destinations through the region is coming to the fore. We have this report. When Home Guard personnel Borsing Bay intercepted a Gohati-bound night bus coming from Manipur, little did he know he was about to lead the Assam police to a rarest of rare seizures. As the Assam police probes the big Karbiang Long drug haul, it has come across some startling facts. The crystal meth amphetamine, popularly known as ICE, seized from the possession of the two Tamil women and the driver from Manipur, has been found to be a very high-end product, according to officials familiar with the case. Not only this, the contraband item, which has been found in its purest form in this seizure, is said to have little or no takers in the region due to its near unaffordable value for markets here. So why were the traffickers smuggling this high-end drug to Assam if there are no takers for it in the state? Well, security sources say that the consignment in all likelihood was headed to Chennai from where it would have been further smuggled to foreign destinations. The alleged involvement of two Tamil women in the trafficking also ascertains that the consignment was said to be smuggled outside the region with Manipur and Assam being the transit states. Security forces have termed this as a rare recovery in India and goes on to establish the fact that a well-organized route from Myanmar is operational in the region with most of the trafficking taking place from Moray in Manipur and Champhai in Mizoram. Talking specifically about crystal methamphetamine, security forces pointed out that the major drug cartel Samgor, which controls up to 70% of the Asia-Pacific methamphetamine market, while also trafficking heroin, ketamine and synthetic drugs, operates from the Shan state of Myanmar and is responsible for much of the massive surge of crystal meth in recent years. This indicates that the Northeast is being used as a transit region for smuggling of high-end contraband items which then reach global markets. Meanwhile, security sources have revealed that police were initially finding it difficult to interrogate the two Tamil women due to language barrier, following which an interpreter from a security agency was brought in. Security sources said that following interrogation, it was learnt that the two were a mother-daughter duo while the son was a sandalwood smuggler in police net in Tamil Nadu. It may be mentioned that the Assam police has already termed the seizure in Karbianglong a big success and Home Guard personnel Borsing Bay has been given a cash reward besides promotion for his role in the seizure. Meanwhile, if we look at the figures as far as the crackdown on drugs is concerned, 1,142 persons have been arrested from May 10th till June 22nd, while 659 cases have been registered. Not only this, over 16 kilos of heroin has been seized besides the seizure of 6,687 kilos of ganja, 9,539 kilos of opium, 19,292 kilos of morphine, 6.42 lakh tablets and foreign currency worth 13,630. News Test Report, Northeast Live.